An unsolved case has nodded the FBI for four decades. What happened to D.B. Cooper, the man who hijacked a plane over Oregon in 1971, jumping out of the back, never to be seen again? Well, tonight there is a new clue investigators are hoping will finally solve the mystery. ABC's John Donvan has the story. Like a ghost's, the eyes in the composite sketch have never blinked once. The taunting question, who am I? And now 40 years after the plane, hijacked by the man known to criminal history as D.B. Cooper, landed without him because he'd parachuted out the tail with $200,000 in ransom money, news that the FBI has a new lead. A spokesman is quoted as saying, our most promising lead. At the FBI Forensic Lab in Quantico, Virginia, they're said to be looking at a piece of property belonging to an apparently new suspect, which is all they're saying for now about a case that, because the bad guy was never found, has entered the annals of criminal legend. It was the 1970s version of Bonnie and Clyde. Jeffrey Gray's book, Skyjack, comes out in a few weeks. He was um, somebody who, through his daring and courage and romanticism, was able to change the way people think about something, and he developed a cult following that continues to this day. Indeed, Cooper, the name on the ticket he used that day in 1971, has been a character for dozens of songs and TV shows, and one film in pursuit of D.B. Cooper, the story of a man in a suit who shows up with what looks like a bomb, demands money, lets most of the passengers go, and then jumps, never to be seen again. And there's always been the suggestion that maybe, having leapt into the dark somewhere over rural Washington state, the so-called D.B. Cooper died in his jump. Either way, investigators have been plagued for years by what's called the Cooper curse, promising leads, including some 1,000 different possible suspects and the 1980 discovery of some of the ransom money in a riverbed that always end up leading into yet another dead end, partly because the evidence taken 40 years ago from the plane was apparently never much to go on. There are problems with the integrity of the, the forensic evidence, or there has been in the past. But if this latest lead is most promising, who knows? Maybe the ghost will blink at last. John Donvan, ABC News, Washington.